Welcome back to the Web TV of OWF 13. Uh, we're here with uh, Mathilde Berchon of Making Society, uh, Alexandre Martel of 3D Natives, uh, Romain Pouzel of uh, CCAB, and uh, Clément Chavert of uh, Dude Studio. Welcome to the four of you. Thanks for being here Thanks. with us. So we're going to be talking about uh, 3D printing because you have a panel just right after on, on, on the same topic. So could you just tell us a bit more about what, what actually 3D printing is? So 3D printing is a way of fabricating objects um, using uh, additive, it's called also additive manufacturing. The idea behind 3D printing is to fabricate an object layer by layer by adding material layer by layer. So it can be with plastic, like the printers um, that, for example, Dom uh, Clément developed, or Romain uh, distributes the maker boards. That's uh, printers that use plastic, melted plastic, to deposit the material layer by layer. So the product just, the object just appears in the machine, and you can make all kind of products with it. There are many other techniques, but they are more used in the industrial world. And what about uh, the origins of uh, 3D printing? How did it all come? Romain, maybe, yeah? Yeah. The first 3D printer has been invented in uh, uh, 1984. So it's uh, quite a whole technology, but um, the, the current buzz of the 3D printing um, has started in 2007. Uh, so it's recent. Uh, it's uh, born with uh, the RepRap phenomenon. It's a um, machine uh, which can be uh, uh, built by itself. It, uh, it's a 3D printer which can print its own parts. So since 2007, the situation has uh, evolved and uh, we have now uh, machines that can be uh, used by everyone basically to, to imagine and, uh, and build uh, whatever they want. Okay, and I mean, wh what, what can we exactly do with 3D printing? I guess it's... Uh, actually, you can do uh, almost everything. Uh, from uh, your iPhone case uh, to uh, jewelries. Um, architects are really interested um, to model uh, their own prototype of uh, their houses. Um, companies such as, um, I don't know, BMW, uh, they can create their, uh, their own prototype for the cars. Uh, the same in the, um, for Boeing, for example. Uh, you can make almost everything. Is there, is there a clear benefit actually to using 3D printing as opposed to what, what we had before? Maybe cost reduction, I don't know, trying out, uh, I don't know, innovation. Uh, would, do you see any clear benefits related to that? It's, it's offer an opportunity to accelerate, accelerate uh, the development of product. Because you have like a little uh, a, a fabric firm uh, in your home uh, to develop, I don't know, if you are designer or inventor. You don't have to wait, um, for example, three weeks or three months, a prototype from China or a very expensive prototype from uh, an enterprise in your area. So I think uh, this is one of the very important points of this uh, technology. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's true like, for prototyping. And also, um, it really allows for making shapes that you could never make before with traditional ways of manufacturing. So you can really, you can create, for example, very complicated products uh, made in one piece, or you can create products that have, for example, mechanical parts already printed this way. So it's really a new way of fabricating. You could not make the same thing uh, before with traditional ways. And maybe a last point, uh, it's not, uh, the price is the same if you build one object or uh, 10,000. So for little series, it's very interesting. Okay, and I mean, considering that we are in an, in an open uh, source forum, so what's the link between 3D printing and uh, open source? The fact is that the, um, the first RepRap, the first uh, uh, personal 3D printer was open source and uh, the mo most of the printer, individual printer today are still open source. And I mean open hardware, so um, the data of uh, mechanical parts and the, of the PCB, of the electronic parts are, are available on the web. So everyone uh, who has uh, access to uh, um, 
maybe another 3D printer or a Fab Lab or anything like that can, can build its own 3D printer. Uh, and it's um, really important for and it's a good traction because uh, it means that everyone can improve improve the 3D printer uh, he uses and uh, that's the basic benefits of open source yes and do you see do you see any uh, any open source communities around this already that 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 have been created that that chip into the projects yeah it's it's really huge the open source community like involved in 3D printing is all over the world. It's, we talk about thousands of thousands of people who spend time improving printers, creating them. I mean, Clément is one of them, right? You're yeah, <laughs> yeah w with the help of the open source, we can we manage to uh, um, understand how works this uh, machine, and we develop and try to improve uh, this type of technology for everyone. For not only for us. And I guess so this relates also to, to the question of how and where do we find actually 3D models if we don't want to make any, like just ready ones. Okay. Sure, I, I'll go. Um, actually, you have um, many platforms on the web, like Shapeways, like Thingiverse, uh, where you can download uh, your model and after directly print it uh, from the web. And uh, either you can, uh, as well, uh, you can uh, scan it, uh, uh, 3D scanner. And, uh, or you can just ask a designer to make it for you. But yeah, the, the main thing is an uh, online uh, platform. These, these platforms are, uh, I mean, they, they work well, right? I, I, I would guess that 3D printing now is gaining traction, so there are users pretty much everywhere. Yeah, and actually you have a platform, a new platform almost every week, every month, uh, specialized in, uh, I don't know, jewelries or new stuff, and uh, yeah. Okay, so. Let's just just to, to wrap things up, maybe we could talk about because since three D printing is is revolutionizing the way we do things, is is introducing a new segment that, that we couldn't simply do before as you as you said earlier. So what's what's on your on your from your point, what what's the impact on the society actually? <coughs> the impact will be absolutely huge and global. Um, it's like open source software has been and continue to be. Um, if I Take the Firefox for, uh, example. Uh, it's um, it's most basically it's the most uh, open source browser used over the over the web. Um, same thing for for GNU, for GNU Linux, uh, Apache. It's the uh, most used web server over the world. So open source 3D printer and individual 3D printer will be, uh, I hope, in every house. Uh, in I think maybe for five years, uh, at least in, uh, in, this in the industrial uh, countries. Um, and the uh, and impacts will be really consequent and immediate. We, we will be able to create things for our pleasure and, and to we will be able to repair things to, to fix uh, products which, has not, which, is, uh, which are, are not uh, continued. So it's... Um, uh, yeah, it will be, I think, a bit amazing. Okay. A anyone else would care to, um, to chip in? Yeah, ma maybe uh, I, to, wrap things up, to wrap things up, uh, 3D printers are, might have a big impact. They are already having a huge impact on industries that need personal, personal products, such as yeah, jewelry or dentistry or... Um, um, military. The military. Military, actually. That's uh, true. U U.S. Army use a lot of 3D printing. For example, when there are some uh, uh, implantation uh, in the middle of nowhere in the Iraq, they have 3D printer to print certain parts they can't get uh, around. Uh, so the impact is already here. And I think there is a link with uh, developing countries. Uh, I was this summer with uh, my... Uh, my friend, uh, we were working together on this project. We were in Africa, in Togo, and there we saw the perfect area uh, for 3D printing because like uh, mobile phone, mobile phone is very, very developed in uh, Africa because you don't need big uh, infrastructure to, to develop this uh, tool. So in Africa where it's very complex to get tools, materials, everything, it's great if you have something like the 3D printer to, to create it uh, on your place. Okay, well, I guess 
I'd say that this will wrap things up. Thank you very much for being here with us today and uh, good luck with the panel. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.